Hi everyone, just an update of how my vertical mini is progressing. Um, this is of course um, inspired by my sister Scrapper and she's got some tutorials to show how she put this uh, great mini together. It is a brilliant idea and I've actually uh, modified it and uh, hence this tutorial. So this is the flap and the pockets but because I've modified it my mini is uh, wider and here you see the um, um, the flap uh, which is going to be slotted into the um, the binding system which is going to be the uh, hidden hinge binding system and um, also the pages uh, not all the pages have got that um, pocket um, so it's very, it's the alternative pages that will have the pocket and um, just want to show you what I mean so I did do a tutorial on how um, the paper bag is cut into half and etc so here I want to show you how I um, add the flap let's see so this is what the before is and this is the after look so the flap is still um, sorry the uh, pocket is there that is the pocket and uh, this is without the, the flap that is this part so I'm going to show you how I get to that stage I use cardstock so get your cutter and uh, the best thing to do is to measure six inches I don't bother to remove the bottom bit sometimes it's good to use it as well so I measure um, cut this into half because uh, this is six inches in height so cut a 12 by 12 into um, divide it into half which is what I'm doing now right so oh I've got actually two my goodness doesn't matter so I've got that done and uh, to in order to make the flap I need to wrap it around and this is um, uh, let's get the measurements now it's 5.8 inches this way what I do is I use uh, I cut a six and a half inch piece so I'm going to do that Try and get a six and a half, and uh, the way to do that is look out for the six, that is six there. But because I've got, sorry about this, so now this is six, and I just move it along make it six and a half right and then cut that and you've got the um, piece which is going to make your flap right I kind of eyeball it and then I take a pencil just sort of do that and then I um, use this and go over it to get that crease so just crease it and stick it in and 
you've got the flap okay and uh, so you've got the flap there and make sure that you keep this open because you're going to slot this side into the binding system so in order to remind myself i make sure that i've got the top uh, marked and then the left part otherwise you know you can make a mistake and add it upside down and of course everything gets into a mess so just try to um, make sure that you've got the sides marked and um, to join the flap you know you can uh, do it in different ways um, I use tape and uh, just glue it and uh, notice that this is not working out of camera again this can go I'm sure you guys are all familiar with what I'm doing now I'm just trying to at attach the flap to the the paper bag and uh, You know, some of them have got the sticky back, you know, come which come off very quickly and easily. But the, I'm having problems with this. I did mention it to the um, shop where I bought this from. Anyway, so this is straightforward. If you're going to attach a flap to the flat piece, it's very straightforward. Just attach the flap and uh, you're done for decorating it. I won't do it because I want to show you something else. So just do that and the flap is yours uh, for decorating. But when you have um, this page where the flap can't go all the way down, what you need to do is to just snip it off and um, you can sort of I shouldn't have taken off the tape. You know, do this before you remove the tape, please. And uh, here. So just snip it off there. At an angle. And um, you get a nice fit for the flap into the... Um, at the side of the paper bag okay and again this is explained to you beautifully by my sister scrapper I'm only doing this because um, I kind of modified her her mini so um, I use um, these Copic markers to sort of uh, distress the edges to get a neat finish just going to do that and then all you do is you uh, have got a nice flap and you decorate it like um, these. Uh, this is what I did, you know, it turns out beautifully and uh, the pockets look really nice and I'm really pleased with it. So um, I'm going to finish off these two and uh, update you um, as I progress. Bye for now. Hi everyone, Donna back again. Just wanted to do uh, an update of how the mini is progressing. So um, now uh, all the pages are attached to the hidden hinge uh, binding system and I've added um, two chip belt uh, covers to the front and back and this is the front. The spine is not covered yet and um, wondering what I should uh, do about the spine but this is how the back is lovely papers and I'll 
you know, once everything is complete, I'll go into what papers I've used. And uh, so uh, this is the chipboard cover. And when you open up, you've got this um, pocket. And um, inside here, there is um, room for a, for a tag. I've created a tag from the leftover bits that you cut to make the flap. So this is a leftover bit and this is actually a good size and you can just trim it down and it, it should fit into the um, pocket at the top there. So I'm, I've um, in the process of decorating and embellishing this tag but uh, just to let you know this is a very big tag, lots of room for your photos and journaling spots. And um, this is the flap, you know, which I um, did the t tutorial on. And it's really looking lovely. I'm very pleased with the style. Thank you, Ginger, for coming up with this genius idea. So this is the flat page. You know, this is the uh, difference between mine and Ginger's because um, she has got uh, this style in every page. But um, I've got just um, a combination. So this is just flat, no pockets uh, with a flap. And um, so back to the um, page with the pocket. And uh, I haven't completed, uh, so this will be glued down eventually. So there's a top pocket up there. And um, here there was, uh, a, I made a mistake. I attached the, um, the uh, wrong side to the uh, hinge, but uh, it does work nevertheless. So you can vary the um, style as well. You can have it this way if you wanted to. So I'm going to look at this uh, in a bit closer and see um, what I can do with this style as well. Sometimes mistakes, you know, are, you know, you, you discover things by lucky accident. So this is the original style. So um, I think it's going to really go look good with the embellishments and the um, tags and you know the huge space that you have for the um, uh, you know anything and everything that you want to do with this mini I love the style it's about six by six so and uh, finally that is the last page so um, yes you know really pleased with the way it turned out and uh, love the size and um, Thank you, Ginger, once again for the great inspiration. Bye for now.